Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a video all about my current favorites, I guess. Uh, I'm not going to call it my February favorites or anything because these are products I've been using for the past like couple of months and I just haven't made one of these videos in a while because I got real lazy there for a minute. Um, so just like my current favorites and a few things that I didn't love so much. Um, so if you're interested in all the makeup that I've been loving and not so much loving, then just keep watching. Can you tell how awkward I am? <laughs> Super fun. Okay, so first of all, I got a little plant friend. He's fake, of course, because like, I kill everything, but in he cute back then? I thought he just like, fit in perfectly. And now I'm like, a real bona fide YouTuber. It's awesome. I'm feeling very weird tonight, so just ignore me if you like hate my personality right now um so first of all before we get started on my lips i am wearing the physicians formula healthy lip in red storative effects yes red storative red storative uh i freaking love these these are an always favorite in case you're curious hands down the best look lipstick ever super affordable from the drugstore and just really great formula Anyways, moving on, uh, let's start with products that I didn't like because, I don't know, that sounds like fun. The first one is this bad boy. This is the Girl Techniques Diamond Sponge. Now, I thought this was like super cute, gonna be awesome, you know, works super well. Not so much. First of all, it gets massive when you wet it like this. Massive, like handful of sponge it's ridiculous um so that's not great it gets really annoying because you basically have to like when it expands you have to kind of like really fold it in your hand in order to hold it properly so you always feel like it's kind of gonna like pop out of your hand um makes it very awkward to hold very difficult to like do something this tip is very like flimsy so trying to like blend in your concealer just gets very tedious. Um, and I feel like it soaks up so much product that it's just wildly unnecessary. Like I don't understand why it soaks up so much product. Um, so this was just a honestly massive fail for me. I really did not enjoy using this at all. Um, one product that I have rediscovered my love for is the NARS Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation. I like when they put things on like the back of the bottle because I can hold it up and still read it. <laughs> I have mine in the shade Oslo, which is too pink for me, but I just kind of make it work because this foundation is beautiful, like gorgeous, smooth, little dewy, not matte, not dewy, just very like satin and naturally radiant. Um, it's a really great foundation. It lasts super, super well on my skin. Uh, I don't have any problems with it like breaking up or getting weird looking or getting like patchy or cakey or anything like that. Um, it's not full coverage. It's not really sheer either. It's definitely a like medium good coverage. My dog's about to freak out. So just uh, really great coverage. Uh, doesn't cover everything, but definitely evens out redness and things like that and then just lets your skin kind of like peek through and just look really really healthy and I love that. I love foundations that do that. Um, a primer that I just really was not wowed by is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. This is not a new product but I just never got around to trying it before. Um, I just, it's, it's fine. Like it definitely moisturizes, but it's very thin and just leaves, it, it doesn't moisturize enough. It's kind of like an underwhelming amount of moisture for someone whose skin is like full on parched. This just didn't do that much and just kind of left me wanting more. Uh, if you want a really, really, really great, super moisturizing primer, I would say go with the, Pixi Rose Splash Balm. This is hands down my favorite primer ever. It is so like thick and creamy and moisturizing and just beautiful and leaves such a beautiful dew that peeks through 
literally any foundation. It could be the most matte, full coverage, ridiculous foundation. This, the glow that this gives you, peeks through. So I would highly recommend this one. This one would just, it didn't do that much for me, you know? Another primer-like product that I have actually really been enjoying is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I don't use this as a primer because I feel like it doesn't do anything to extend the life of my foundation or make it go on smoother or anything, but it is very moisturizing and feels like a really just like unnecessary but really great almost like second moisturizer type of base. Um, if I use this, I won't go in with my Pixi one just because they are just moisturizing. If I use this, I'll go in with something, you know, like pore filling or something, but I have really been enjoying it. And of course I had to uh, test it out by using the popular method of the beauty blender in it. And honestly, it feels really, really good. So I've been enjoying this. I don't know if I'll shell out the, what, $60 for the full size, but I really like it. We'll see. Um, I placed an order on the Milani website when they had like a whole bunch of new stuff come out a couple of months ago. Months ago, wow. Jeez, Alyssa. Um, so I picked up the, so I picked up a couple different items. The first one is the bronzer in the shade uh, 01 Sunlight. I think it's a really great shade for me. It's very soft and powdery so it blends really well but it just doesn't last on my skin like at all it smells really great it smells like the physician's formula one but i felt like every time i would put this on i wouldn't even like finish my makeup like i would put on bronzer and move to my eyebrows and then i would finish my eyebrows and i would look at my face and the bronzer would be like gone and i, I was just like and that just kept happening and it just it doesn't last in my skin at all it just whoosh, disappears doesn't matter if i set my foundation if i don't set my foundation doesn't matter what i set my foundation with doesn't matter what foundation i wear i cannot get this to last on my skin for more than like five minutes which is really really infuriating so this while i like it i like the tone of it um i have found that it works well if i layer it with something else like if I put on like my Marc Jacobs bronzer and then add this on top of it it you know makes it last a little bit better so I'll probably use it up just by doing that method of layering it to get like dimension and the color and everything but I don't know man it just it doesn't last if you have experienced this with this bronzer like let me know down below because I want to know if I'm crazy or if my skin just like hates this bronzer or something I don't know we'll see um, the other, another product that I picked up from Milani was their Conceal and Perfect Concealer. This was actually the main reason that I placed that order because I was super excited to try this out. I'm always down to test a new foundation, concealer, whatever, if it says, you know, full coverage, last all day, all that jazz. I was kind of disappointed by this. I don't hate it. I don't think it's a bad product. It just, it's not full coverage, like at all. Um, I... I just feel like it leaves so much to be desired. It's very thin and liquidy and I just feel like it just, it literally does nothing for my under eyes, honestly. I'll put it on and you can still see all of my darkness, all of my redness. If I have any acne or anything, there's no way this is going to cover it. Like this just basically does nothing for me and that sucks. I feel like it looks okay on the under eye. I don't you know, hate the way it looks or anything. It's just, every time I use it, I always feel like I have to go in with something else because it just doesn't cover. I'm just like, really? It sucks. Um, so this was kind of a fail for me. Again, I'll probably use it up just by layering it with stuff because I'm not, you know, I can't donate this, so I'm not going to throw it away, but it just, I don't love it. I don't hate it. I don't think it's a bad product, I just don't love it. And that's all that matters. Um, and the final Milani product that I picked up was their Stay Put Brow Shaping Gel. I've been on such a like brow gel kick lately. I don't know what it is. I have like six in my drawer. Um, I really like this one. It's actually what I have in my brows today. It's like super, super natural looking. 
The brush is fairly large, but it does have two different sizes of bristles. So like this side of the brush is super long bristles and this side is like super short stubby. So you can kind of customize what side you need, what you want to do with it. Um, it also makes it so you don't make as much of a mess as you would with just like a normal massive eyebrow brush. Um, I really like this formula. It's not super pigmented. It's not super, it's not even, I don't think it's even supposed to have uh, fibers in it so it doesn't do anything for like fluffiness or anything like that. Um, but I feel like it just looks really nice and natural and just adds a little bit to the brows. Not too much, but just a little bit. Like the um, Milk Makeup Kush Brow Gel. I love that one, but it's super, super pigment pigmented. Uh, very fibery and it like it gives you a like done up brow this just gives you like you can see it's just a very like natural almost like are those just her normal brows like she just wake up like that because like <laughs> that'd be awesome but like it still looks natural and I've, I've really been enjoying it lately so I, I really like this formula um I find that it doesn't disappear throughout the day um I don't make a massive mess on my face which I normally do with brow gels so really been enjoying it lately. Um, the next product that I want to talk about is another bronzer. Coming from the person who used to never wear bronzer, like didn't even own one, I have been going through like buying so many bronzers lately, it's ridiculous. But this is the Bare Mineral Minerals Invisible Bronze in the shade Fair to Light. Um, I got this for my birthday Ulta haul. So I've been looking at this for a while and I finally decided to treat myself because it was my birthday um and I've really 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 been enjoying it it's very natural it's not like bam bronzer you know like you really have to like build it up and put time in with it and all that but it's so beautiful and natural and looks great on my fair skin so I've really really been enjoying it right now it's so nice on those days where I don't have time to sit there and like blend my bronzer to make it look natural, this is what I reach for because it's just so easy. So I have two face palettes to talk about and then we'll be done here. The first one is the Jouer Bouquet D'Amour. I don't know, I'm really not good with foreign languages. Um, this is the blush palette they just came out with. <sighs> it's so pretty. This might be one of the prettiest pieces of makeup that I own. Every time I open it, I'm just like, oh my god, it's so pretty. Like, I'm like shocked again by how pretty it is. Uh, the shades are beautiful. They're pigmented, but they blend out really, really well. The, I think it's a great like assortment of like pinks and peaches and cool tones and warm tones. You do have this wild card up here, which I really don't know what the heck to do with. It's basically a like shimmery orange color. Um, it's it's basically an eyeshadow for me because it's like full on orange, but I think it's beautiful. Um, and it would look gorgeous on deeper skin tones. Like, oh my God, it would look gorgeous. But it, it's a beautiful, beautiful palette. I believe this retails for 40 two dollars or 46 dollars one of the two um i think it's totally worth it you get this beautiful rose gold foiled packaging with the blush pink and you get six blushes that are great great quality <sighs> they're really really nice plus they last all day and they don't fade <laughs> it's so good uh the next product is from ColourPop. it's their cream de la cream uh, highlighter palette. This was another item that I picked up for myself from Ulta for my birthday and I've been using this quite a lot. Um, I will say it's a very very dry formula so if you're not used to that you might not like this but I think these shades are beautiful. They look stunning on the skin. They emphasize texture a little bit but I honestly haven't found that many highlighters that don't so I can't really knock it that much for it. Um, there are a few in here that are like colored, but not really like they're, it's like a peachy gold or like a light 
pinky purple you know they they look normal on the skin but they just have a little bit of like a little iridescence that's a little different um but i i've really really been enjoying this palette i've reached for it way more than i expected like i just i keep wanting to use it so there's something good here um and i believe this was 18 dollars so I'll link everything that I can find down below. Hopefully all this stuff is still available. I hope you guys liked today's video. Let me know down below what some of your current favorites are because like I always say, I am always, always looking for new makeup to try out and I love getting y'all's recommendations. So other than that, I hope you guys will hit that subscribe button. Maybe check out some of my other videos and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.